and welcome to Thursday Night Scotch Club. This is Andrew, and we have a special guest in here today, Derek, coming from parts around here. <laughs> <laughs> parts unknown. <laughs> and it's, it's uh, appropriate we have a special guest in because we have another special guest, Scotch, from... I actually picked this up on a trip to Korea as well. This is a... Uh, we are doing Ballantine, 17 year. And this is the limited edition 17 year, which isn't on their normal Ballantine's website. But uh, they had it in the uh, duty free for an extra five dollars over their 17 years, so I think I figured I'd try it. So it, Ballantines is a huge global brand. It is one of the largest actually in the world. Uh, the 17 year is they have 12 year, they have 18, 21, or I don't know if they have 20, but 18, but they have 21, 34 year. Um, lots of variety. It is a blend. I mean, they're very proud of their blend, and in this one. They actually make it clear that uh, they have a large portion of Glen Taucher uh, as part of uh, one of the distilleries that they that they blend Glen from. Glen Taucher. Taucher. A lot of Glens. Uh, yeah. Yeah. I don't think we're uh, Scottish no. enough to pronounce it correct. No, but it, it, it is it is a blend, and they they've only had over the course of this entire company's career, they've only had five master blenders. So they are very consistent in their blends, trying to keep them that was good here. So, <laughs> tahur, tahur, tahur. <laughs> All right. So, we, we let's think? go ahead and try this. Smell. This is uh, nose. Mmm. It's got a nice smell. Now, uh, before we get started on the actual tasting, it should be noted that uh, Derek is not normally a Scotch drinker. He's more of a bourbon guy, which is all right. You yeah. can cross over. Uh, I drink bourbons also. Yeah. Uh, in fact, there's not a lot of stuff that I don't try occasionally. Um, vodka, vodka's not on the list, though. Uh, but he's going to sample some scotch. So this will give you an idea of how a guy who normally drinks bourbon on a regular basis would feel about a scotch. So we'll see, and and you know, neat too. So we'll we'll see how this we'll see how this goes down. Well, I mean, it'll be it'll be a little smoother because scotches are generally less alcohol. Okay content than a, than a bourbon would well, be. It's a blended, right? Cheers. Yes. So this is a 17-year yeah, 17, 17 blend, and I and this this is a really well-balanced scotch, in my view. It's got a nice nose, very fruit caramel. I mean, it's really a a nice mix of on the nose. The taste is, it, there's no alcohol bite. It, there's a little bit of smoke. Yeah. It lingers for a little while as you taste it. It's really got a to nice... To me, it, uh, it, it doesn't have... It's got a little bit of an after, you know, a lingering effect, but not, not overly so. I mean, it, it kind of you take it, it, you get the idea, and then it it dissipates and it's it's gone. It is really smooth. There's not a lot of smoke, a little smoke, but not there, a just a hint. It's not overpowering. It's real well balanced. It's got a tiny bit of heat, not too bad. And let me just say that I've had two bourbons already tonight, and uh, <laughs> you know this is considerably smoother actually than the. Um, See. We're, we're going to make a convert right here on camera. Um, it, it is. It's it's a smooth. Of course, that third one always goes down smoother, <laughs> a little bit smoother than the first two. But, but then again, that, that's true. Come here. By the time you hit five or six, though, it's yeah, uh, they all they all taste the same. <laughs> yeah, you can go down to the cheapest bourbons or scotches at that point. <laughs> <laughs> that's why we care here for right. Yes. Well, let's go around the horn. I'll start. I think it's uh, I I agree. It's a smooth smooth taste. It's no smoke. I'm not tasting any smoke at all. Um, it's well done. Um, it's definitely. What, what was the price on this? What would you say the price? In Korea, is? Korea is kind of, <laughs> no. This is about an eighty-five dollar bottle, so it's not a cheap scotch. So, for that price, you would expect a, a good scotch. It's it's yeah. good. I actually enjoy it. Um, I've had the other one. I didn't enjoy it too well. So this one's pretty good. I, I would definitely <laughs> drink this one. <laughs> uh, of the two that came back from Korea, yeah. this, this one's is, this the is definitely what I would far. drink. This I would have a couple far. glasses of this for yeah. sure. Yeah, yeah, this is good. I would, uh, you know, compared to other blended scotches that we've had, it's not as smoky as the double black. No, um, not at all. It, it's a lot more smooth than the Johnny Walker black. Um, yes. I, I, I would, I would, I don't know if I'd pay $80 for the bottle, I, um, but it's a smooth tasting scotch. Yeah. Um, this is definitely one that you could have while you're out for dinner, um, mm -hmm. and it wouldn't really get in the way of what you're eating. Um, yeah, you know, I mean, it's, no, um, it, it's a nice scotch. It's, it's well balanced. I'd give it two and a half. 
Two and a half out of four. I forgot to get my ring. Yeah? Um, I'd say two. two. Two fingers. I would give this a two fingers because I tend to like a little more smoke, a little more linger than this has. For an $85 bottle, it's a little overpriced for what I would normally prefer. Um, it doesn't have the the style and the complexities that you would normally expect in a more. But it is a blend, and you now the, the thing about blends is they specifically blend the scotches for different flavor palettes and for different, um, to, to have a more complex flavor. And my palette, what it is, it's not. I'm, I'm kind of curious so. now that you're talking about the fact that this isn't even listed on their website, mm -hmm. uh, if this was blended specifically for the Korean market. It could because be. the Scotch Blue that we had was, you know, obviously blended for that market and it was extremely light. This is a little bit heavier compared mm -hmm. to that, it's obviously, good. and it's more Scotch flavor versus that. But I wonder if this was made specifically for that market and to appeal to their palate. Yeah, this the, there is no Korean on the box like the Scotch Blue Special had, but... Um, it, that's yeah, it could be. You know, the water definitely helps open it up a little bit more too. Does it? It, it gets a little bit more. Uh, the vanilla comes out. I mean, it, you know, it's it's really pretty good and neat. It's not bad. It is good. Meat. So uh, what, what do you think, Bird guy? Boy? Yeah, you know, I was surprised um, how smooth it actually was. Mm -hmm. I mean, we talked about that a little bit earlier, but I hadn't drank a lot, a lot of scotches lately, and. Strangely enough, we talked earlier when um, I do drink scotches, I like to drink a lot of them with a more peaty flavor, but this is good. I mean, it's approachable. I mean, I think for a guy who doesn't even drink a lot of hard liquor, I mean, it's easy to get down and um, it's a fun drink. I, I feel warm and fuzzy inside and I'm, I'm having a good time. <laughs> That's all so, matters. Um, that, that might have been the other two bourbons that you had. Yeah, it could be too. It could be too. So, right. so uh, you want to give a rating? Are you feeling comfortable um, you know, like, four it, fingers? It, it's weird not having a frame of reference, but, uh, you know, from, from the scotches I drank, I mean, and you're, you're on a scale of four. Mm -hmm. four I, I, you know, I, I'd, give it a, I'd give it a two and a half. Oh, yeah. Yes. My, my, my two fingers. Your two fingers. Your two fingers for a bourbon drinker. But, uh, um, yeah, you know, I give it a two and a half. I mean, it's 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 good. I like it. I mean, I'm not a typical two scotch drinker, but two two, 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 two and a half. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So you know, there you go. Ballantine, uh, 17 year. Uh, you may have to travel to Korea to get the limited edition. <laughs> Maybe. Um, that makes but it a lot more expensive. But if you find it, <laughs> expenses, but it's, it's probably worth trying a glass. Yeah. So there you Absolutely. go. Salute. Salute. Cheers, everybody. Cheers.